Hello my darlings and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are in the area of Old New Henford today, back at St Henry's Church. Last time we put the finishing touches to the churchyard by finishing off the community garden and the rest of the graveyard itself. Today we're into the interiors and we're going to make a start on the main church area itself. So let's get going. And we're back my loves. Welcome back to St. Andrew's Church and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And we are getting into the interiors today. We managed to finish off the whole exterior last time and I like the vibe of it. I really do. I think it feels very kind of realistic for The Sims and it just feels natural. It feels like it's been here for hundreds of years. I'm very much into it. So yeah, that's what we did last time. Finished off all the graveyard and the community garden and put all the last minute, minute touches to the exterior just to add a little bit more of a pizzazz. And I like it. I'm absolutely for it. So today what we're doing, we're getting into the interior. The main bit of the interior, which is going to be the actual main church itself. So this area here. I'm also going to be concentrating up on the gallery level here and getting some stairs up, but also getting some stairs down as well into the basements below. Don't know where I want to put the stairs down below just yet. Um, No idea. We're going to just wing it and hope for the best. That's what we're going to do. So first things first, what we're going to be starting on is I'm going to start bringing up, grabbing these pieces and getting the floor on here. I don't know how big I want the gallery up here to be, really. I think maybe that would be enough. I mean, I need to put the stairs in first. It might come out a little bit further. I'll get the stairs in first and we'll see what we're working with. So stairwise, we're obviously going to be using the church stairs. Yes, we are indeed. Uh, this is a medium height wall. Uh, I can't go all the way in there. Let me get rid of you because I know that you're going to be a problem. Stay there for a second. If I can get this one to here. And I'm going to mirror... No, no I am. I'm going to mirror it on the other side as well. I'm going to do a little swifty woo. And then I'm going to pull... Oh, not like that. Like that. And you. And then just a shorter turn. I think like going around to that kind of area. Same with this one. I want kind of a, like a elaborate staircase here. Don't really know how realistic this is in churches, but I'm doing it anyway. You know, sometimes you've just got to go ahead and put your own stamp on things. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. We've got the ceiling in. Lovely. Yeah, stairs look fine. We can get you back now. You can come there. It's going to be a bit difficult to put stairs down into the basement anywhere around here, though. Um... I think what I'm going to do instead is have one staircase going up. So I'm going to choose that side and have a staircase going down here into the basement level. I think that would be the best bet. So I might even make that into a separate room moment there. Let me see if I get nothing to it. Let's get the stairs in first aid and you're going, you're getting ahead of yourself now, darling. You're getting absolutely ahead of yourself. So if I've got this one and I bring this down to here, can I go all the way in there now? Okay, so you need to go to there. Staircase down. I might want to make this a double wide staircase, to be honest. Yeah, so the entrance comes in that way. Mm, I'm not really feeling that. I think it needs to be the other way around. We need to swap it. I'm going to put the stairs coming in from this way. So that one tile kind of makes a bit more sense there now. And they can get down here. We're not concentrating on this level anyway, but I just definitely wanted to get stairs down. Yeah, that could be fine. I do think I want to put a wall here, though. I mean, I could just do a half wall. I, I'm, I think I'm going to do a half wall, actually. I'm going to do... me. Let's have a look at this height. Maybe a bit taller than that, this one. Yeah, all the way along. I'm then going to grab a bit of fencing. In fact, let's get the fence out first. Again, we're sticking with the uh, castle estate kit. It's just perfect for church building. It really is. Here we go, this bit here, just so I can put that across there. And then, oh, I always bloody forget that I can't do that. Honestly, I wish that we could. I wish there was a way that we could bish bash boosh out this. Like, it's just stupid. I hate how that works. Oh, it makes me want to slap a fish. It really does. I think what I'm going to have to do instead then, because I don't like the way that that looks. It looks stupid like that. I'm just going to have to come around here with it instead, like this. And then colour it the exact same stone as what we've got going on in the walls here. Excuse you. 
Excuse you. Nobody invited a nine mile long wall into the picture. Um, I hope you can see everything. OK, it is a bit dark, actually. I will make sure to get some lights on um, so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Lights are all on. OK, I don't like how that finishes off there. I think you need to be boxed in. So I'm just going to put a, a box there like that and then use the same wallpaper. Pop that in there as well. Is that a different color wallpaper? It looks to me like it is. Yes, it is. How dare it? Um, so all of you. That's all done. What about behind there? Oh, she's done. I think we need another pillar here. Pop one just there. And maybe just towards the end of the stairs here as well. Like around about here. Yeah, that could work. Let's do that. And then I think what I'm going to do is go all the way across. Oh, I can't go through the stairs, Aiden, you silly bum. Well, if you can go to there. I want to get a spandrel up on there. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's see. No, it's not going to work there. I'm going to put it on the wall, though. I'm just going to have that kind of free of a spandrel. And I'll pop another spandrel here. And maybe off to the side as well, like that. So if I can grab this one, this one, and this one. What is it with pillars rotating recently? Irritating, honestly. I know I moan about a lot in, um, in the game, but I should do. I should have a moan about it, because if it's not working, what are you going to do? You're going to have a moan about it, aren't you? Yeah, that's nice. Um, same banister as well, matching in. I'm going to use this one. Pop it on there. Let me see that. Oh, it does meet that kind of funny. Um, we'll go with it anyway. Eh, that's okay. It's fine. I just don't like the way it's creeping through that pillar there. It's really annoying. Might even get rid of that pillar. Shall I? Oh, I'm going to. Oh, it kind of looks like it's balancing on that point, doesn't it? That doesn't look structurally sound. No, we'll just keep that. That's fine. I'm being extra fussy. Um, so up here, as I said, I do want to get in a little bit of a fence up here as well. There we go. I'll pop you straight across like that. Yes. I think that's far enough. Yeah, I do. I'm going to do wood up here. Definitely going to do wood up here. Love the way that that banister is creeping into that wall there. Ah, <laughs> oh, love. C'est la vie. You know, sous la vue. As far as I'm concerned. Absolutely Sulavu. Right, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to grab you. We're going to bring you across to here. And then bring you all the way down. Maybe all the way down as well. Get rid of this. We've kind of got a double height moment here. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. We'll keep that in. Yeah, don't like this spandrel here now though. Let's get rid of you. Okay. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. Let me see you down here. Yeah, can we get those details back, please? Thank you. Lovely. Okay, that's working. I definitely want to do wood up here. I'm going to be doing a nice bit of wood. And I'm going to lop it all across here, I think. I think that would be the perfect wood for in here. Yes. Same here. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm into that. So that's a nice big kind of gallery area where I'm going to be putting the organ uh, don't really know. I, I can just put the organ right here. I'm not going to do that just yet. We're going to start mapping out the main church first, but I just wanted to get this stair area done. I think that's going to work. I really don't like those corbels that I've used up there. They look a little bit, they just look sized up. You know, I don't like the look of them, so I'm getting rid of them. You are not coming to the party. You're very much not. I think what I want to do instead, we'll try something here, is draw a wall. And maybe just put a spandrel up there instead. See how that's going to look. Oh, the camera drop in here. Right across there like this. Oh, I don't like how it meets in the middle there. Oh, maybe I do. You know, I could put a light hanging from that. Why does this side do that and this side doesn't? Like, <sighs> where's the logic in The Sims? What I'd like to know. Like this side drops down, which I like, gives a bit of detail, and then the other side doesn't. It's so annoying. So annoying. Anyway, we're going to continue on. We're just going to pretend that that doesn't exist. Um, and we, oh, and we are going to start putting in the church um, benches now. So I know that we've got a few benches that would fit in with this, but I do want to find the perfect one. And it's got to be this one here from um, my wedding stories. I think that's going to be the perfect one. 
It is indeed. So we know what the Sims weddings are like. They're shit, aren't they? They are absolutely shit. When my wedding story's broken, never worked. Um, so I'm going to put in quite a lot. I do want it to look realistic in that way. But just know that your Sims are not going to be using them. <laughs> as long as you know that, we'll be fine. So if I could do another one, maybe around there. Let me see this. Yes, that should be perfect. And the same here as well. Nice bit of spacing there. What was that? That's like a one and a half tile. Okay, so is that correct? It is. Yes. So if I could do you there. Another one here. Um, I think I'm going to have these as like choir areas. Hmm, maybe I could pull that up actually with a little bit of a platform. Kind of vibing with that idea. I'm going to get the fence out first. I'm going to be everywhere. Scatterbrain everywhere in this build, by the way, because I've just got so many ideas running through my head that I'm just going to try and implement them all at the same time. <laughs> just just pre-warning you, loves. all right? Is that the right brun? I think it is. Let me see. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Let's use this one. Go for a little bit more of a wooden vibe there. Do I want to like fence it in a little bit further here? Let me see. No, I'm going to keep them free. But I am going to use this one over on this point. And the same over on the other side as well. And then I'm going to raise these up. And then the same with the other one. And then just cancel out. Maybe we could do... No, I'm just going to do two on each side. One, two there. And the same on that side as well. Yep, that could work. We we'll use that same wood that we've got going on here. Boop. And a boop. And I might even... I'm going to try something. How many... St oh, it's always perfect. I think what I want to do is have both of them. I'm not going to keep this fence here. Oh, maybe I am. I shouldn't have put that trim on because it's just going to get rid of it, the platform trim. And then I'm going to raise you up another level. And the same with you as well. And then we can have kind of like stacked seating on here for the choir. I know that the choir is probably usually more around this area where the things are. But again, we're working with the Sims, not real life. So I'm going to do this over on this side. I don't know what chairs I want to use here. Maybe, oh, do you know what? I've, I've just, one's popped into my head. Maybe that like churchy looking bench from uh, Get Together. Yeah, this one. Yes. Can I fit two on either side here? I don't think I can. I'm going to leave them now. I'm just going to leave a bit of a, no matter. I'm just going to do one instead then. So one here, one there. Oh, I really wanted two. I really wanted two. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not effective. I want to. I'm going to try and make it work. I'm going to overlap them slightly, I think. And I'm going to do the same on each side. There we go. They do glitch out just slightly. I might even size them down just slightly again with the tool mod. But I've put four at the back anyway, because you can fit a bit more in there. I like that. I think that's quite effective, actually. Yes, I do like it. I think we should have some kind of thing in the middle here. You know, like Game of Thrones style on King's Landing. Um, I'm wondering... I think the jungle adventure rug would fit here really nicely. This one. Let me see. Not really feeling that colour in here. Do we have anything better? The answer to that is no. So that's the best of the bunch. I'm going to put you right in the middle. You know when they sometimes have these big things in the middle of the churches? And it's usually someone very important buried underneath or something. So maybe this is where the um, corpse of <laughs> Henry Henford lives. Lives? Yes. <laughs> I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to absolutely do it. It's making me want to put more um, seating. It is making me want to put more seating down. So I think I'm going to do it. But make, every, make these a little bit more spaced out, maybe. Maybe these can be for prayer and not necessarily for the wedding, you know? So if I could do like one, keep that all free. I'm thinking spatial awareness here. Today's part is primarily going to be me just getting stuff in and making sure it's in the right position. Um, <laughs> that is what today's part's going to be. Yeah, that's better. And then we can continue on with our one and a half tiles from this point onwards, maybe. Let's see. Boop and oh. 
boop and a do like that. Get the grid on again. Uh, and then bring you all the way down. You here. Here and you here. And I reckon we could get another little number in here as well. Yep gonna do it there was a few of you that said why don't we do like a confession like booth and stuff i don't really want to do that that freaks me out a little bit i don't know why um if that's part of your religion then don't take that offensively it just it's just not for me it does not sit well with me that um but yeah that's nice i like that i'm also not going to decorate this for a wedding i'm going to keep it completely free um and let you decorate this for a wedding if you've got a wedding planned or what have you I want this to look like a like a church that's not having a wedding. <laughs> that is my technical term for it. Um, and Bob's your uncle, to be honest. So, mm, I kind of want to do something here. I'm wondering if it's going to work. Mm, I reckon we could make this work. And this, I hope I can make this work, actually. I shouldn't say I reckon we can. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Strange for the minute, yes. And then what I'm going to do is raise it up so I can stand and mount. Do you um know what I mean? Why they put, they put that... Oh, should I do a coffin? Yeah, I'm going to put a coffin here just for shits and giggles, you know. Well, not that because that's a bit um uncouth, isn't it, to be honest, Aidan? I think what I want to do... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have that as the area where you put your coffin on top of it. And I'm going to put a coffin on it for effects. Effects, you know? You can take it away for your wedding. You don't really want a dead body in the background. <laughs> Why are you doing your vows, do you, really? <laughs> it's not a good look. It's really not a good look. I think we should probably go for the wood on top of there as well. Maybe a bit more of a plush wood there, though, rather than the antique one. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Guys, when I was doing that, I did have to laugh at myself because I went to have a vape and I picked up my crystal. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I had a little laugh to myself about it. <laughs> so, yeah, I tried to use my crystal as a vape today. So there we have it. You know, someone needs a holiday. And do you know who that person is? Me. Me. Tonight, though, I'm going to see Paolo Nutini in concert at the Eden Project, um, which is a fantastic venue in Cornwall. I can't bloody wait. I'm so excited. Uh, let me know if anybody else has gone to see him as well. This video will be out a lot later than the actual dates, but yeah, I can't wait. And if I see any of you there, please say hello to me. I do like to say hello to people, uh, as long as you're not an asshole. <laughs> I'm joking. I know you're not assholes, okay? There we go. Yeah, that's effective. I like that. That's effective, me saying, with a coffin. My lord. Anyway, we need a wedding arch, don't we? Oh, I don't know what arch to put in here, because I don't really know what kind of vibe would go well in this church. Let's have a look anyway. I kind of like this one. I think this one's quite nice in here, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's a nice little focal point as well. Let's get you right up near the coffin, my love. <laughs> But just imagine without the coffin there, you could put flowers and stuff behind it. Oh, it's going to be a right dream. It really will. Yeah, I'm into that. Very much into that indeed. I'm not going to do any kind of aisle or anything down here. I'm just going to keep it all natural. But I would like to start adding in some lighting. And I think what I want to do, I don't know if this is going to work, but I do want to use those candles like these ones. I don't know if this is going to work in here though. Now I'm going to do it. I think it would. Let me see. Yeah, it will. Yes. More, the more candles, the better, you know? More candles, the better. So if I can flop you all the way down, any surface that I can see, we're going to be flopping a candle on it. Here we go. You there. Maybe not over in the corner. Yeah, that's nice. Do I want to do some down here as well? I think I do, to be honest. Let's get you up there then, my lover. Here you go, my darling. What about you? Let's see. Yes, done in. Right, you there. You there. Oh, I'm going to do two behind here as well. One there. One there. Imagine I have to go around and put all these out with your snuffer. <laughs> Has anybody got... Does anybody use a candle snuffer? I do. Love putting my candles out with a snuffer. Aiden, please shush. 
Go on holiday, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, that brings a little bit of joy, doesn't it? A little bit of Jesus joy to the place. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Okay, I'm feeling some tapestries coming on. So, the only tapestries I think that are going to work in here is going to be the ones from Vampires. Tapestry, not a tapestry. Thank you. Tapestry. Um, these ones. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, they do work. I don't really know if that colour though. I want to go a bit more muted. There we go. That's better. I can do two there. Maybe some flags at the top. Flags in a church. Yeah, flags in a church. Flags work. Flags work for me. Flag. Uh, I don't really like any of them. Oh, I do like this one, of course. But um, maybe this one. Yeah, these kind of work. Let's size them down, though. They're a bit... Why won't you let me size that down? Stop being an asshole, for goodness sake. It won't let me size it down. <laughs> it just sizes down the footprint of it. I found something in game that doesn't size down. What a day. What a day to be had. Love this camera drop. Love it. Absolutely love that feature in this game. I can flop two up there. I oh, know, do you know what? That's not too bad. What would you look like from this angle? Instead, let me see this. Oh, that's better. Yes, I prefer that. I have no idea what position I put it in there. Oh, that's a bit high, that. Back down you go, my lover. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Okay. I do want some kind of like candelabra here as well. Oh, and it's got to be the shy flame, isn't it? What about if I can pop you here then? Keep away from those tapestries. They are 16th century tapestries. You do not want to get them burnt. Jesus will come after you. <laughs> not that. <laughs> not that at all. In fact, these would do better in the windows. Let me see this. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Let's get these in the window areas and the little alcove areas. Um, can I get any up here? What would you look like if I popped a couple, like, just around on these areas? Oh, you look smashing, love. Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to do any more than that, though. I think that's fine there. And the same over on this side. One there. One there. This is coming together rather nice. Fuck off camera, seriously. There we go. Look at me getting all aggy with the camera. Well, it just serves it, doesn't it? Oh, honestly. Oh, I hope when The Sims 5 comes out in nine decades' time that they fix that camera bounce. We don't need it. Thank you. Uh, do I want to do, like, one more here, maybe? No, no. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do something here as well. Maybe a little bit of a prayer table here. Oh, that's sort of a good idea. Let's get a prayer table on the go table which just popped into my head perfect prayer table and it's going to be that big table with the cloth on it this one oh yes i can get you there then beautiful um i mean these are the perfect candles but they just won't fit on the table oh maybe they will actually i'm gonna have to size i'm gonna have to move them up the nine key and they're not gonna go on there properly are they oh oh actually i think they did <gasps> oh that's perfect little tea lights look Little tea lights, £9.50 for one candle. £9.50 a prayer. Okay. <laughs> it's just the way it works. If you don't pay, it doesn't come true. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's very lovely. Very lovely, that. I, I, I really like how it looks. I think we need to do more of those flags, you know. I think we could put some more flags up on these points around here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Come to me. Let's come down to this level. Oh, God, here we go. Why is that wall gone? Oh, it's because I've got the cutouts on. Uh, if I can prop you to around about there. Prop you? Really? I meant to say plop. Like the poo. Right, if I can pop you there then. And then you... I think that's not at the right... I don't know. Is that at the right height? Oh, it is, look. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I want to do another round on the other side as well, to be honest. I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to flop another round. Oh god, I don't know the position of these. Nope, that's too high, Aiden, you silly bum. Uh, there. Yeah. Is that right? No. No, you need to come down one more, my love. There we go. Perfect. So what line is that? It's kind of this one, I think. Let me see. Is that right? <laughs> I can't work it out. <laughs> yes. There we go. Uh, so you need to come up one as well, my love. There we are. Oh, if that one needs to come up one, does that one? No, I put them at different heights, didn't I? Of course I did. <sighs> Honestly, for goodness sake. But this is looking good. This is looking very churchy. This camera. I know I keep saying it, but my God. My God, indeed. Yeah, I like how this is looking. Definitely. Okay, where should we put the holy water thing? Um, where did these normally go? I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe there? <laughs> Take a sip as you come in. Do you drink it? <laughs> I don't think you do. I think this might need to go up this way. Near the altar itself. Is it called an altar? It is now, to be honest. This is the debug version. Is there another version? Because I'm sure that comes in other swatches. Yeah, here it is. Look. Comes in other swatches. That's the debug. That one fits in with the aesthetics of the church. Um, I think that'd be fine there, you know? Yeah, lovely. Oh, she's beautiful. She's Grace. She really is. I wish we had some, like, plaques. I would love to see some plaques up on the wall, you know, like they normally do with, like, people who have died and all of that stuff. Wondering if we can get any in here that would look plaquish. I don't think we have really. What what would these look like? Uh do you know, I don't really hate that to be honest. That looks like it's been around for years, doesn't it? Let me see what it's gonna look like up there though. Stupid. That's what it looks like. Yeah we don't really have anything that looks like plaques and I know we've got nothing in um the, the photo section either. Okay I honestly think that is enough in this main church area. You know, once you come in and you decorate up yourself for the weddings and stuff, that's where it's going to pull in some extra detail. Let's get rid of all of these spotlights then and just see the light that we're working with in here. Because it's a little bit too bright for a church for me. I prefer a dimly lit number. <laughs> um, You need to go away as well. And so do you. Let me see this. Oh yeah, that's church vibes. That's a church vibe if I've ever seen one. And I have now, because I'm, I'm looking right at one. Cute. Okay. Lovely job. So let's get up onto that gallery area, shall we? If you've got any ideas, I'm going to be... This is going to be the final Let's Build the World um, while I'm on holiday. If you've got any, any, any other ideas... Or what I could put down here to bring a little bit more detail. I don't want to go too much with it. I don't want to go too much with clutter and stuff. But if you've got any ideas, let me know. And I'll see what I can do when I get back. So up here, we need to get our organ out, don't we? Not, not that. Not the fleshy organ. Well, I didn't say fleshy until I added it in at the end then. But not that. No, they usually go up against the wall, don't they? But we can't here because we've got a balcony. So can I do it just there? What about if I sized it up? Would that look weird? I think it would look weird if I sized that up. Yeah, no, we'll keep it as it is. That's fine. And I'm going to use these same benches as what I've got down here and put these up here as well. Just in case they get in a full choir. <laughs> a full sister act moment, you know? The Pope can sit up here and Whoopi Goldberg can be singing a shoulda coulda what is down on the stage. Um, very much looking forward to Sister Act 3. That is going to be happening. Very excited for it and I've heard that Bette Midler's in it. <gasps> <sighs> Bette Midler is an utter queen so I'm more than happy with that. I think what I need to do here is have groups of them on each side rather than a big row because want a gap in the middle where that organ is you know get you in there um yep no, that'll be fine and then i can do oh god no, you're gonna need to come here 
keep saying God's name in vain while I'm in this church. <sighs> Smite me, oh, oh, what, what's the saying? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do that, I think. I think that would be enough. Yeah, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Same up here as well. I need to get some lighting on these numbers, don't we? I'm going to do one there. Do another one around here as well. Uh, does that chandelier look a bit... No. I was about to say, does it look weird there? But it's, it's fine. I don't really want to move it across one. They're all nicely spaced out, really. That's fine. Honestly, I'm just being extra fussy. But I think this is where I'm going to leave it today. I'm going to leave the St. Henry's as it is. And we're going to come in here when I get back from my holidays and we're going to put some more details into this main church area. So again, if you've got any ideas, let me know down in the comment box below because I will be checking everything while I'm away on holiday as well. Um, I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to say and what ideas you've got. So let me know down below, darlings. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, my dears. Videos will be back to normal on Tuesday, the 9th of July. So I'll be back from my holidays, refreshed, replenished and ready to roll. Um, but that's it. Leave me some lovely comments and I'll see you all then. Goodbye.